A hard lump under the jaw, HPV positive, head and neck cancer. And the standard path says, big radiation, big chemo, hope for the best. Well, Mike wanted more than that. He wanted state-of-the-art precision targeting. Hi, I'm Dr. Dino Prado, founder of Invita Medical Centers. We've helped many patients over the last 25 years who've failed the top cancer hospitals across the country using precision targeting and of one care. So in this case, we profiled the tumor, we primed the immune system, and we timed it with low-dose targeted medications, improving the immune system system using our immunotherapies, adoptive autogalous immunotherapy with PD-1 inhibitors, and it made all the difference in the world. Along with integrative care, which was precise phytotherapeutics to help the patient, we helped them go into remission. So here's the key part. The nodes are soft and inflamed patterns that flipped in the imaging that stayed on track. This wasn't luck. It was sequenced immunoengineering. So think of it this way. These tumors were cold and they needed to be hot. This is a very immune-centric cancer. These HPV-positive squamous cell carcinoma and we've seen many of them, they respond really well to immunotherapy, partly because they're virus-induced. And as I've said before, actually most cancers are infectious disease-related, but they go untested. I know that the World Health Organization only says 13 to 30 percent, but it's much higher because no one's testing for infections. We test for all infections, viral, bacterial, fungal, parasitic, you name it, and we find that our cancer patients usually have one or more infection going on that's been chronic for a long time untreated. In this case, yes, this patient had their cancer with HPV, but the scan showed that these nodes were there and present. He'd seen what one-size-fits-all chemotherapy did. He had difficulty swallowing, eating, lost lots of muscle. You know, big, strong guy losing lots of muscle. And, you know, what we did is we made the immune system strong. We targeted it to the tumor, and the patient really went into remission. And it was really a heroic, another heroic story that we have at the clinic that happens every week with patients coming in from all over the world and all over the country through targeting. So if we map and we we get the targets, we're always going to get better care. We can't guarantee the care is going to be perfect for everyone, but it's going to be far better than anything else out there because of the depth of targeting. The DNA, RNA, immune spatial biology, it's precision. It gives you the advantage. We began with multiomics and targeting, and then we matched the right targets, matched the right care, and we rebuilt his immune system. The key in this case was the immune terrain. It was cold. We needed to turn the T cells and NK cells on. There were a lot of things suppressing it. If you were to see it from a spatial biology perspective, a lot of suppressing the cancer. Building natural killer cells and dendritic cells were particularly important because natural killer cells are antiviral and anti-tumor. Very interesting because this is a viral-induced cancer. So instead of doing carpet bombing with chemotherapy and weakening the immune system and pushing mutation, we custom-built the natural killer cells, dendritic cells, and as soon as a patient received the therapy, they started getting heat around the head and neck area. We started to eat better, swallow, day-after-day day improvement, and the key to this was DAMPS. Damage-associated molecular patterns which signal the immune system to go to work. Everything we do in this case and in all our cases is very immune centric. So the chemotherapy was designed to stimulate the immune system, which most of them aren't. Our obviously immunotherapy is designed to stimulate the immune system and our direct to tumor with image guided minimally invasive surgery was to do the same thing. And this is what made the difference in this cancer. Stimulation of the immune system, waking it up and putting the cancer into remission. Starving it of its blood supply, getting rid of the causative agents of the cancer and rebuilding the immune system. And this is why you don't see most patients get these types of treatments because they don't have this planning and they don't have the custom pharmacies to build the care. So in this case, it was really important that we combined phytotherapeutics, things like EGCG, which were working really nice in parallel intravenously alongside PD-1 inhibitors to enhance their mechanisms. And in this particular case, using our cellular biologics, our international facility to build NKs and DC cells were very helpful to bringing this patient into remission. Now, along the way, not only did the patient get rid of the cancer, and did it without, you know, needing surgery or anything harmful, but they had more energy, better quality of life, and went into full remission. And like many of the patients we see, they've been in remission for several years, doing really well, and it's these types of treatments that make all the difference because of the planning. If we didn't have the planning, we wouldn't have known that his immune system was cold, it wasn't operating correctly, the chemotherapy selections would have been off, and it would have been a guessing game. If we had just done integrative care, that's, you know, high-dose vitamin C, and tried a series of integrative therapies, it would have been a lot of hit or miss supportive care because that's more adjuvant supportive care. It doesn't wipe the cancer out on its own. That's what we've learned in 25 years in doing the latest in integrative medicine is you need these combinations. Once the immune system turned on, the tumor debulked, patient responded well, was able to eat, got their weight back on, and returned to life. This is the power of targeted care, not guessing. Less guesswork, more life. And this is the example that I, I want to show you because when you build the immune
immune system, the immune system knows what to do. It was designed to go after cancer cells, but it needs to be able to spot your cancer cells and it needs a little priming to do that. And that's what we do with the immunotherapy work and the care that this patient received made all the difference for them. Why did it matter that we had an HPV here? Well, it provides us a clear target, it's viral. And these viruses can cause downregulation in pathways of our immune system that can cause further mutations. So by treating this and building the immune system and sweeping out this, these viral loads along with the immune stimulation plays a long, plays an important role in long-term remission. So we weren't just looking for short-term responses, but long-term remission. And that's why understanding what's causing the cancer is very, very important. The PD-1 inhibitors help, they take the break off, but they're not enough. They needed NKs and DCs to be in higher number, higher quantity, and have higher cytotoxic killing effect that was typed to his tumor. And that's what the immunotherapy allowed. And when you combined it all these in the right sequences, it took these cold tumors, made them hot, brought the patient into remission. Not simple to design, but simple to explain in these general terms. We watched circulating tumor cells, they improved, CT free DNA, methylation scores dropped, patient went into remission, and we monitored. That's it, that's simple, but it was very powerful. Just in a matter of several weeks, we had a transformation in care, and the patient was able to eat, sleep, and feel so much better. No side effects that you typically would have seen in standard of care oncology. That's important. So let's look at the head-to-head -head comparison. In the conventional care, the patient would have definitively done chemo radiation, which is so bad. Have you ever seen patients do radiation in the area of head and neck, and they can't eat, and they have so much pain, and then the cancer still comes back? That's horrible. Destroys the mucosal lining, dysphagia, difficult swallowing, weight loss, prolonged recovery. With precision, we avoided all of that. We got right to the tumor, shut it down with one procedure, and began working on systemic immunotherapy to shut it down. I know I can't explain this any clearer, but the key is targeted care. And the ability for us in this case to use our 3D comb beams and our immunotherapies direct to tumor, debulking it is very critical. And building the immunotherapies with our natural killer cells and dendritic cells in this particular case is very life-saving. So it's important that you see precision makes all the difference. It's not standard of care. It's not just chemo and radiation. It's targeted, micro-dosed, made just for you and of one. And we see these cases with all different kinds of cancers because it's the targeting that makes the difference in our clinical experience. I hope this was helpful and may the Lord bless you on your journey to healing.